Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Many would say that the best cup of coffee you can make is with a French press, and I can't necessarily disagree. But using a French press can tend to be a little messy. You get the grinds all smushed at the bottom and then they get in the filter and cleanup can be a pain. But what if you could have French press coffee without the press? Is that possible? Stay tuned. I think it is. Coffee is something that we've looked at a lot here on the channel. I've brewed a lot of coffee on this channel, all different kinds of ways. In fact, I have an entire playlist called Coffee in the Woods. We're not in the woods today, we're in the backyard, but nonetheless, there will be a link down below if you're interested in that playlist. Recently, I had a company uh, called Simplicite, uh, Simplicity with an E, but Simplicite, and they said, hey, we have this pretty cool pressless French press we'd love for you to check out. Do you wanna check it out, get a free one, and maybe make a review if you want to. And I said, sure, I am never one to turn down a new way to make a cup of coffee. The point is you get French press taste without that annoying cleanup. Let me show you guys what they sent me. This is the Simplicite coffee maker specs. Dimensions are 4.1 by 6.9 by 8.75. Altogether weighs a pretty hefty 2.75 pounds. The capacity is 34 ounces of fluid. That's with the brew chamber in, it'll hold a lot more than 34 ounces, but when you've got the brew chamber in and all the coffee, it definitely won't hold more than that. Material is stainless steel. It is $69 at the time of uh, filming this. I do not know where it is made. Um, maybe the company can tell us that. I looked all over their website. I guess I could email them. And if I do, I'll put it down here at the bottom where it's actually made. I know that's important to a lot of you guys. As far as features go, it does have this double layer vacuum insulated carafe, so it's vacuum insulated, it's double layered. This will keep your coffee nice and hot. Has this lid that's got kind of this scallop on it. You can see the scallop, and of course that scallop is, so when the scallop is facing this way, you can pour a cup of coffee. When you flip it around and the scallop, it closes it off right here. It has this stainless steel coffee chamber, basically a big, huge filter, okay, made out of stainless steel. It has this gasket here which uh, it actually comes with three of these gaskets. I don't know if you need that many. Seems to be very well made, but you do have backups just in case. Uh, none of this stainless steel is gonna fail. So if anything fails, it'll be the gasket. Uh, one thing to, to note is that it, you know, it's up against this rim of stainless steel, which is fairly, you know, it's not sharp, but it's, it's definitely not dull. And if you go in there and they talk about if you bang this against the wall of the trash can, for example, trying to get the coffee grounds out, you can obviously damage this gasket. That's probably why they include several of them, so be careful. Um, I usually just hit the actual stainless steel and just shake it out like that. Here's Joe's plane. Man, these fancy people in these jet, you know, these Lear jets. No respect for YouTube videos. No respect for YouTube content creators. Okay, as I was saying, we're gonna take this inside. Let's make a cup of coffee. There's a very specific instruction pattern that the company gives. We're gonna follow that. Afterwards, we're gonna drink a little coffee and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about this product.
Now, since I'm a doctor, medical doctor, I do know certain things that you may not know. For example, did you know that the pupils are the last piece of your body to die when you pass away? They dilate. Well, so what do we think about this product? Well, there are pros and cons like anything, and we'll start with the pros. It's well made, it has a very well insulated carafe, which is nice, it has that lid that, that tops it off, so if you don't drink all of your 32 ounces, which is the most you can brew with it, you can put the lid on it, and it'll keep it nice and warm. It also makes a really good cup of coffee. As far as cons go, the biggest con that I see is just the storage aspect of it. The way it's made, if you have the rubber gasket uh, on, the brew chamber and the brew chamber is in the pot you cannot put the lid on it and that's kind of a bummer now it's just the way that it is designed but it is something for people to note a lot of people like me probably prefer the ability to store everything in a nice complete neat little package maybe a little ocd going on can't do that in this case even if you take the red um, gasket off you still can't fit that lid on it very well so just something to think about it's not a major deal um, but something to think about other than that, I really don't have anything to complain about. It's an interesting concept, and I have a very, very sophisticated palate when it comes to coffee. I can tell you if it's an Ethiopian bean or a Colombian bean or a... I mean, to me, it makes a good cup of coffee. There is no doubt that cleanup with this, as you saw in the video, is a piece of cake. Now, look, I understand that you might be sitting there saying, well, I mean, I clean my French press all the time. It's really not that big a deal. Look, the, the grinds do get smushed really bad into the bottom of the French press. That leads to it being very compacted. You gotta get in there with something, you gotta get your hand, you gotta get a spoon, you gotta get something to get that out. Just flushing it out with water can be a pain or it's gonna end up taking a whole lot of water. Whether or not it's a big deal to you, and I can totally understand the concept of, look, I don't mind to clean my French press. I get that, but it is easier to clean this. As far as the price go, I think it's a very reasonable price just from the standpoint of the quality of the carafe and the lid. It's a very nice product just from that standpoint. I do wish that the lid had a gasket on it, something to seal it down. I probably should have put that in the cons. We'll add that to the cons. I think it would be nice if the, if the lid itself had a gasket so that when it's sealed onto the actual carafe part or the body, it would keep it warmer even longer. Obviously, I don't see using this product on trail. It's pretty big and bulky to consider doing that, but it is very much functional at home. I've been using it now at the house for several weeks. I like using it. It's very simple. I can make it very quickly. I'm wanting to get a, I like, when I when I make coffee at home, I tend to like to use um, camping equipment. And I think I want to try to get, I don't have a kettle that's big enough to hold that much water. So I think I'm going to get a bigger volume kettle. If you guys have any recommendations on what kettle I should get, leave it down below in the comments. I want something that's closer to that four cup range. Um, anyway, if you know anything, let me know. What do you guys think? Leave comments down below. Let me know, do you think this is worth the money? Is it is it a concept you would even be interested in? Are you glad I made the video? Uh, once again, I will say that the company sent this to me for free. Uh, they said, if you wanna make a video, we would love for you to make a review, an honest review. They have no input on what I say. They have no, they didn't send me any information. They didn't send me any talking points. They didn't tell me to do this or that. All they said was, enjoy our product, make a review, be honest, and tell your fans about what we made. I believe this started as some kind of a um, crowdsourced, um, not a Kickstarter, but what the other, the other one, whatever it was, Indiegogo maybe, I think it started like that and now it's in full-fledged production. I will leave a link down below to the website if you're interested in checking it out. Uh, the price that I quoted was as of today. I just looked at it again. That is the price as of today. So if you're interested, check that out. As I said at the beginning as well, I have an entire playlist on coffee in the woods. Not in the woods today, but we are making coffee, so anything related to coffee, I put in that playlist. Do me a favor, guys. If you're not subscribed, it really helps a lot. I know a lot of you are not subscribed to watch these videos. Hit the thumbs up down below. It really helps spread things across YouTube for me, and subscribing is the biggest thing. I don't ask for Patreon money. I don't ask for donations, anything like that. Whatever money I make on YouTube, I put back into the channel and buy gear to review for you guys. But if you don't mind hitting that subscription button, that would be awesome. If you want to hit the like button, that's perfect. Give it a thumbs up. If you want to hit the notification bell, that's that's great as well, but hit that subscription button. That's the biggest thing for me. Gonna enjoy a nice afternoon here in Louisiana. Sit in the backyard, maybe do a little fishing back here. As always guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.